we were all kids and you all did things now, but this is serious and they don't realize they're bringing this home to their families and out into the world. Despite news of teens spreading coronavirus at house parties in Middletown, parents we spoke to all said they are keeping their kids home. We still social distancing. He doesn't really go out much, but we have stuff in the backyard. We got a pool, trampoline. Uh -huh. We find stuff in the house to keep them going. Nowadays with the computers and the games, they get to see each other. And, uh, you know, we, we just got to stick through this. Middletown is not unique. On Long Beach Island, three dozen lifeguards who partied together tested positive. At Rutgers, the football season is now in jeopardy after players there tested positive. While in Jackson, a massive house party drew 700 people. The entire police force, plus neighboring towns and state police, had to break it up. It's unknown how many cases this could lead to, but the 22 and 23 year old organizers were issued summonses for violating the governor's executive order. When there are hundreds of people crammed into a house, where the air conditioning system is simply blowing the air around and where people are not wearing face coverings, you have also invited coronavirus to your party. Murphy says due to all the house parties, New Jersey has now reverted back to where we were one month ago in terms of new cases. Today, Governor Cuomo was asked how New York would deal with New Jersey if New Jersey is added to the list of states where visitors must quarantine. I don't know how you could quarantine New Jersey. We don't, they don't fly into New York. Uh, you'd have to blockade roads, and we're not talking about blockading.